Cause on the counter, cause that paper counterfeit And I'm like, man, what you talking about? I'm trying to get paid, you know, it's whatever Hello baseball fans and welcome The show brings you the game of the week it's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Atlanta Braves. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. So the Atlanta Braves have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Ronaldo Lopez. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score. Left field, way back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall, should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. So up next, Geraldo Perdomo. Three for nine of the series coming in. Right through there for a strike. Splits the plate, and that is strike two. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. The shortstop takes the ball. And ball that's outside. Out. Two and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Carroll, the runner at second with one away. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Right side, Albies. In plenty of time to first, they get the out on Marte. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. And now Jack Peterson. Strike on the inside corner. It's 0-1. Two outs. Fall off foul. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. That oh. misses. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. So one hit is all they get. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Here in Atlanta and on the mound today Brandon Fact what should we keep an eye on here well the hammer is in effect and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity of the fastball he'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count what I love about him you get into the later innings of the ball game and the velocity seems to go up this one lifted in the air left field no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves and the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. If they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. 
jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Ronald Acuna Jr. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Man at first, one away. On the ground, right side, slides, but he can't come up with it. Couple of singles back to back. Not much to this one other than just that a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team yeah. at bat right there. Nice job of staying oh, back and letting the ball get deep. Matt Olson up to the plate. 0 for 6 in the series so far. And he swings over the top there. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. In the dirt, but kept close. But no advance from the runners. The pitch. In the air, right center. This is match. Way back and gone. He powers that one out of here. And they tack on three. It's 3-0. Three he absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boo. We knew it wasn't coming back. That ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. One down. Here's Austin Riley. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. Line drive base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That is good. You know what? Here's Marcelo Zuna. Four for eight in the series so far. That Ball one not one, no close. Break. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Already three runs across in the frame here in the third and final game of the series. Three. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Gets him to chase after that one. One ball, one strike. And one and two. Talk about tying a guy one up. Ball, that was ugly. Strike. Riley, the runner at first with two gone. Marte throws the first in time. Third out, that ends the frame. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now 3-0. We head to the second in MLB The Show's Game of the Week.
And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. Walker. They're off to a great start, three-run lead after their first inning, but so important to be airtight defensively. Don't give away extra outs and allow that other club to get back in this ballgame. And it's caught for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, everything is in your control. And he pumps it a strike. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Two outs, base is empty. Down the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Throws the first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Diamondbacks down quickly. They trail it here, 3-0. Bottom of the inning, here is Ozzy Albies up to him. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 0-2. That oh. one missed. Ah, that hit him. That ball and the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. No biggest concern other than the injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. Well, sometimes a guy lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. And a foul ball. Murphy in his fifth season, 29 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. The 0-1. That one hit to right. Carroll moves towards it. Balls it in, and there's one away. Here's Jerry Kelvin. Tied to left his first time. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Albies leads off first with one away. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count is one and one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The one two. All these on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Out at second. That is. Top half of the third inning. Alec Thomas now. That one ripped right center field. Kelman going back on this one. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. First pitch swing in. Went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Good pitch hard and inside. But he showed off some quick hands. Got the barrel to it. And was able to yank it into the outfield. Gabriel Moreno in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch is outside. Man at second. Two ball, one strike. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Kicks and fires. Right side, hard hit. He takes it on his own and one away in the top of the third. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. 
That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Corby Carroll swings it now. Good power. And he's homered off some really big names early in his career. Yeah, Boog. His first home run was against Hugh Darvish. He also got to Clayton Kershaw and Max Scherzer shortly after. It's easy to gain confidence when you're having success against the biggest names in the sport. Base hit and a run into score. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One gone runner at first. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Oh, that's out. Just off the outside edge. 1-0. and oh. I love this part of the game. Does he really oh, want to try and steal second against this catcher? Oh, no. I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. And oh, that's, that's outside. Awesome. The Braves leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That's in there, and the count is three and one. That one fouled off. And a pinch. Rudder takes off, and there's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Second base. Cattel Marte up to the plate. Marte. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Right through there for a strike. One and one. Two on, one out. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat, I'm sure. connect on the curveball, struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer for yeah. Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. So first and second with two outs. Jack Peterson stands in now for the Diamondbacks. This to third, and that should be extra bases. Around third, one run is in. The relay to the plate, save! It's 3-3. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two down. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. 0 for 1 so far. And yeah, now the 1. And that one fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. And a base hit right there. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. And he's out. Try for two. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Braves three. Back at Truist Park, here's Orlando Arcia. Fat back to work. And he grounds one to the right side. Marte whips it to first. One up, one down. The right fielder, number three. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Marte throws to first in time. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Matt Olson. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch misses. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team.
Left hand batter waits. Well struck right field. That one back. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. So, man aboard, stepping in the long ball threat, Austin Riley. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Olsen stands at second with two gone. Strike two. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Makes the catch in and over. One left for Atlanta. Still down a run. It's 4-3. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ballgame. At the belt and fires. Got him. And one away. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0 2 on two pitches he didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect, it expands just out of the zone where he couldn't do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Now, up next for Arizona, A. Eugenio Suarez. Back to right. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Alec Thomas doubled in his first A.B. And a foul ball. Swings through that one for strike two. No ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Not ball, even close there. Strikes. And it's one and two. Lopez gets the swing of the miss. And it's a three up, three down inning. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. But they hold on to a 4 3 lead. Ready to go, bottom four. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. The wide to kick the pitch. Hey. Oh, and one. And a pitch. That oh, misses right off now. the outside edge. It's a good take. And another ball. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Adam Duvall at the play. Rounded out his first time. Duvall. Ripped, but it curls foul. Next ball pitch one. misses. One ball, one strike. 1-0. is fouled off. And a 1-2. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. 
Albies stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Up and in, and it's one and one. Warning track, ball, and you can touch them all, baseball man. He sends it out of here, and we are starting over. It's 4-4. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run, and that's exactly what they needed. Fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees. And he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Here's Sean Murphy. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And there's a foul ball. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And that's outside. outside. That's the ball. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Tied at four. Three. And down on strikes. And that is that. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. It's now tied 4 4. This is MLB The Show's Game of the Week. Coming up, we head to the fifth. Back here in Atlanta, and here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. That one down the line. Riley fires to first, and a quick out number one. The batter. The right fielder. Corbin. This is Corbin Carroll. Carroll in his second season, 23 years old. And he's a former rookie of the year. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Oh, and two now. And that's in the dirt. One ball, two strikes to count. That two one misses, and that's ball two. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Ah. Got it. Picks up strikeout number seven. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. On the ground, right side, and down. foul ball. Two down, nobody on, and that one fouled off. And here it comes. Foul ball still, 0-2. Nope. The shortstop takes That's the ball. Time. Swing and a ball popped up. All these moving under it. Pauls it in to end the inning. And the Diamondbacks down in order. Still all square at four apiece. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in, Jared Kelvin. The pitch. This one in the air, center field. 
Thomas sizing it up. He's got it. And there's one down. The pattern, number five. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. That one misses in the dirt. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. In the air, left field, down the line, and that is a foul ball. Well, he gave that one a pretty good ride down the line, but it hooked just foul down in the corner. That could have been an easy double if it stayed fair. Right-hander kicks deals. Just missed. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Well, they call that an advantage count like for a reason. You're so team. much more likely to get something you can I'm handle. Good. Just an awesome swing of the bat. Yeah. Quick hands and just lost the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Run around at first with one gone. Here's Acuna now. One for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't nope, chase that ball. time. He's been raking in recent games, nope, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Way outside, ball three. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Nelson up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Arcia leads off first with one away. Slice to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. It was all over that fastball no, right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just no. by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, oh, that's way back. Here is Matt Olson. He's already homered in this game. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. To the right side, Marte. And that'll do it. One hit, one left. Five innings complete. And we are tied 4-4. And welcome back to leading the ballpark. Arizona, Start of the six, the John Chambi with Chris Singleton. Cattell. And leading off, Cattell Marte. Marte. Here comes a pitch. That Aye. one finds the zone. 0-1. One, one. <laughs> On the ground, right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get hey. him to find a hole. Peterson in the box now, takes strike one. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. And a righty deals. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Came after with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Christian Walker digs in now. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. And fouled off. With the go-ahead run at first, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up a leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr., Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. And we are tied 4-4. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Nelson. Now it's going to be Austin Riley. The pitch. Nelson. And a foul ball. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their Four, bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've locked six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Nice grab. The throw. It's there, oh. and that's a great play. Now that no left field. Marcelo Zuna oh, next up for the Braves. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And oh. there's a ball. And a foul ball. Tied at four. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Moreno gathers, goes to first, and there's two gone following the strikeout. Now, now, this slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Fought off foul. Time asked for at the plate. Maybe an attempt to break up the rhythm that he's got going on the mound right now. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the six. Off the plate inside. And the count's even at two. And that's outside. Ozzie Albies on deck for Atlanta. Three balls, two strikes the count. Fights it off, he'll see another. Fly ball down the line. 
Carroll brings it in with a nice running grab. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We're through six full, and we are tied 4-4. Here's the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez. And the pitch. Aye. And there's the strike. Aye. That's in there. And it's not again two. Going to. Flares it into the outfield. And out number one on the ground. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the now ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Brian Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Jesse Chavez taking over on the mound. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Thomas batting with one down takes a strike. Ground ball right side and it goes just foul. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. The next offering misses. Now one, one and two. Strike, yeah. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound. Uh oh, that got, that him. got him. And the potential winning run is aboard. Go ahead, run on base. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Tied at four. Roll to short, could be two. Arcia tosses to first, and there's two away. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. He gets the intention to walk here, and now will force at any base with two gone. The bat. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Hey. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. That clips the corner. Dr. Odom with a breaking ball just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. And a swing and a miss. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Ready to go for the last go. half of the oh, inning. Oh, Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. Ozzie Albee. Nelson back to work. In the air out towards right center. Thomas gets under it. Nabs it. And there's one away. Now batting. Catcher. Gone. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. He's a big strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. First no. offering, and it just misses. All tied up. You're the bottom of the seventh. Right through there for a strike. That's inside. That one missing inside. One down, base is empty. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Slings to first. That's the second out. 
So the batting order turns over. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Jared Kellner. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Michael Harris. Trying to get something going for him with two away. And a big swing and a miss. All one's the count. On the ground, right side. To first, oh. that is the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We look ahead to inning number eight, and we are tied for. Now Staying in the game on defense, Michael Harris. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Here's Cattell Marte. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. We don't ever stop, we keep rolling, I know that you better rock. We the veterans, yep, we steady shock. We just better man, no, we barely walk a mile in our shoes. We never the pitch. The other way. Gets down, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And Jack Peterson stands in. And there's one down. Up next to the diamond, the first baseman. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. Swings through that one out in front that time. Oh, and one. Ball strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Ground ball up the middle, and that one finds its way through. And a go-ahead run into scoring position. One away. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to hey. knock it down. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Riel gets a piece. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Two on, one out. Three. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Now the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Just missed. With the go-ahead run standing at second. And we're in the top of the eighth. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 2-1. and one. Right through there for a strike. <laughs> and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. Arcia. The pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. That one misses. Now 2-0. So a man on base to start the inning. 
Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he had it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. One for three. Not no one, close no with that one, and it's one and oh. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Nope. Just That's off the right. outside edge. Two account, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Tied at four. This one belted. Deep left field. On its way. And it goes. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add a couple more. It's 6-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of his ballpark just like any extremes when everyone now seems to be in the corner of your head matt olson next up for the braves known for his late inning heroics and first offering is fouled off nobody on nobody out here the bottom half of the eighth inning can be tough to bounce back after big home run, but nobody on, nobody oh, out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Carroll puts it away. One down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Up Couldn't quite barrel right. it up enough to really try it. Oh, Austin there. Riley now at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss as he was late. Wow, oh, good luck right catching up to that one. Two runs across in the inning here in the third and final game of the series. One down, base is empty. Ball that's outside. Grounder off the pitcher. And they get the out after the ricochet. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. So down to the plate for Atlanta. Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Popped up. Marte should have it. He makes the grab. And that's the third out. Braves pick up two on the long ball. Last chance coming up for the D-backs.
Around the mound is the closer, Rysel Iglesias. I think the closer has to be one of the toughest right jobs in baseball, though. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Up the middle, Arcia tosses the first, oh. and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now batter, the captain, Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno getting ready to hit. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. Right hey. through there for a strike. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. This one smacked out to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. So they're down to their final out. And now here is Corbin Carroll. Cut on and missed 96 with that fastball. Oh, Sometimes a hitter will go up there and guess, and it's not just pulling something out of the sky, but expecting because of tendencies a certain pitch in a certain location. He just guessed wrong. The Diamondbacks down to their final strike. And one ball, ball one. Two strike. Three. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, with the sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourself. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4 to four for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon for the next... Game of the week. Oh,